You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, there are over 24,000 of you guys on the phone lines with us this evening. What is up? What is up? So I just want to tell you guys uh, about indulgence. Say, what are you talking about, Dini? Well, one of the best ways to become disciplined is to indulge yourself on a regular basis. At first, that may sound like uh, country, you know, contradiction, but when you think about it, though, indulgence can be a key tool in developing and maintaining discipline. Uh, discipline always requires denial. For example, you want to write a hit song, you have to deny yourself of, uh, you know, all the time that keeps you away from doing what you need to do to write a hit song. Maybe it's watching Empire or or power or even being on Facebook as a time consumer. Yeah. Or or for example, if you want to discipline yourself to lose weight, you must deny yourself fattening foods. When you discipline yourself to work hard towards achieving goals, you set yourself uh uh you set yourself up for a path to reach those goals at a at a quicker pace. You deny yourself some of the fun activities of life. We're only human though. And we need incentives along the way. One powerful incentive is to keep yourself focused on your goals, on the objects of your uh, objects of your discipline. Another good way is to schedule a regular indulgence. It's better if your indulgence is something you do regularly, like every day, every week. It is important to be able to look forward to it. And when the time comes, make sure you enjoy it. Savor every minute without the least uh, the least bit of guilt. Take time for yourself and reward yourself for your hard work and discipline. And remember that you'll get the opportunity again and there's no need to binge. I used to binge here in a generic sense, not just as it applies to food. One powerful way is to take this concept to a higher level and that's to, you know, develop indulgence that actually enhance your discipline. A good example of this physical exercise, if you can find an exercise that is also a true indulgence, then you can discipline and indulge at the same time. That is a powerful combination. Try a little indulgence. You deserve it, and it will help keep you on track. Take it from me, Dini Mussolini. That's my word, and you can bet you that word is by. You're live in the mix. Let's get this started. Yo, it feels so good to be back with you guys once again. So one time, one time for my people who are indigos and starseeds, and two times for my people who are vegans. We are averaging over 34,000 plus listeners, and we've been at this for three solid years. I appreciate all you guys who've been rocking with the kid on this journey, and we're still growing, baby. It is all because of you, most definitely. We are the people who have dedicated their lives to music, spirituality, business, literature, art, movies, and research in every aspect. And we want to allow you an opportunity to tell your story. Man, we've had celebrities on the show from Grammy Award winning artists, nominees to actors, comedians, CEOs, technology geniuses, visual artists, from authors to professors and aliens. Or people who think they're aliens. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Come on our show and talk to me. So check it out to book an interview or just to share a real cool story. Email me at the radio at onlyonemediagroup.com. 
I'm passionate about what I do, just as passionate about what you do, and together, yes, together, we can get your voice heard by the people who should hear it. So let's create something incredible. And with that, hello out there, and welcome to another episode of our podcast, Vigilantes of Radio. Thank you again, as always, for tuning in and being a part of our audience family. You know the number to dial. It's 701-801-9813 to connect with us or our guests. Or you can hop in and mix directly from my website, which is only one onemediagroup.com. Scroll over to the Vigilantes Radio tab and slap that Go Live button and you'll be right here live in the mix with all of us or in the chat room so feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests while they are here and as always all episodes are available for free download you can grab that from spricker.com forward slash only one media group itunes youtube the app called podcast addict or over at our website and that goes for every single episode that we've ever aired well I don't want to keep 24,000 of you guys waiting any longer, so let's go ahead and dive deep into this interview, shall we? Yes, we shall. Well, today's interview is the CMG Bosses interview, and I am your host, Danny Mussolini. So I know I know. earlier I said in the intro that we we're coming up on three years, but it's actually the fourth year. Uh, we just passed our fourth year anniversary uh, maybe three days ago. So I have to correct myself on that part. But yeah, but before we do that, guys, we have to do this. Are you living with pain? I was after a nasty fall. I got relief with one hour pain relief. I'm Barry Yarconi, president. And here's Lisa, a Marine who was injured in Iraq. After surviving an explosion, I was on horrible painkillers for lingering head, shoulder, back and knee pain. But I hated the dangers and side effects. My friend told me about one-hour pain relief, and now I'm off the drugs. One-hour pain relief is the result of 15 years of research on an amazing extract from hops, the plant used to flavor beer. Whether your pain is from an injury or just aging, you get safe all-day relief in less than one hour. We're so sure you'll love one-hour pain relief, too, that we'll send you a one-week trial for just a small shipping charge. Call 800-269-9500 right now. That's 800-269-9500. There's no gimmicks, no obligation, no automatic shipments. Stop living with pain. Call 800-269-9500 for your one-week trial or visit onehourpainrelief.com. That's 800-269-9500. Our interviews go beyond the music, the books, the movies, the businesses, and into the minds of the artists and people who create those marvelous aspirations. From uh, researching our special invited guests, relentlessly mining for every detail, watching reading and listening to everything we can we're like tmz like digging out the secrets our interviews are designed to bring out the best answers possible through thought-provoking questions that have some real substance well maybe we aren't like tmz but you know it's worth a shot well a sincere warm welcome to cmg bosses for being on our show this evening we'll have an absolutely amazing time talking with them about their latest single blessed the story behind the lyrics and the process of choosing a proper single Point me, my friends. I'm sure they have a lot of incredible things to say here, and I don't want to give too much away. So with that, let's go ahead and welcome them to our show. Catch my game, bosses. You are now live in the mix with all of us. So how's it going, and how are you feeling? What's good, what's good, Devin? Man, great to be on your show. How you living, man? Man, man, everything is great. Everything is great. How about yourself? Oh, man, we just out here maintaining trying to push this music globally. Definitely, definitely. I just did the big sleep, and I got my man A-Dub on the phone. It was good, it was good. Game in the tank. Definitely, man. So how's the weather with you guys at? Where are you, matter of fact? Man, we down here in the DMV right now, and uh, the weather good. It's good and lovely, man. Good weather to make that money. Awesome, awesome. It's what I like to hear. So shall we go ahead and dive deep into this interview, gentlemen? Yes, sir. All it's right, a a dub and sleep thank you guys so much for taking some time to talk about music and some business with us so won't you guys bring us all up to like what's happening with you guys like right now because i i could imagine it's an exciting time to be alive as cmg bosses tell us about it <laughs> go ahead Doug. oh hey man we right now we're pushing that single blessing like you mentioned that thing available 
all over the place online, title, Spotify, Apple Music, get your stream on, get your download on. And uh we got Project M I two coming soon. Right now we sprinkling them with singles, so you gonna get that shortly. Uh, we also got videos coming out soon too, so be on the lookout for that. Definitely and as you said, I wanna, I wanna make sure I let you know that we appreciate you too for even being on your, your show with you, man. Oh no yeah, doubt, man. I appreciate you guys. Man, as you said, man, it's a, it is a great time to be with, with Catch My Game Entertainment, man. CMC Boss, man, we out here. We've been doing it for a while, man, and, and you know, we just want to spread that message, man. No matter what's going on in life, you know what I mean. At the end of the day, every every morning you wake up is a good day. You know what I'm saying. So no matter what you're going through, there's always somebody else going through something harder than you. So each one teach one, everybody, man. Let's 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 get this money, man. Let's let's keep the mind frame that we all bleed the same color, so we can, uh, you know, make it a better place. You know what I'm talking about? Make it a better world. Oh yeah, I could dig that one. So guys, you said you've been at it for a minute. Uh, let's talk about yes, that sir. for for a while. So what's got you to the point that you're at? Right now, you're a music and career. Like, uh, did, did he, you guys go to school to study uh, music business, art? Everything just happened to you know. You learned it all by doing it yourself, getting out there. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna get start. Let me get this. Yeah, all right. So what it is is we're gonna reveal more content coming up over time. You know, uh, when it comes down to this music, we've been doing it behind the scenes for a long time. I've been doing it a, a, a long time when it comes to production. Uh, so we've been doing it a long time when it comes to this hosting. All kind of different things and, and uh, shows, performances, everything. So we don't work with some of the artists that you hear out there. Probably been spinning. Out there back in the day, all that. Yeah. But we Right now, what we're doing is we just... Taking everything that we done learned over time, everything that we done picked up over time, and I mean that's that's it goes all the way back to, to learning self and and school and everything, so everything wrapped into one, and then I'm um, um, taking it out there to the people now. To us, man. Have you guys always been rocking together? Man, this is my brother from another mother, man. Basically, man, this is this is well over 20 years strong, man, and um. We 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 just been basically when we when we clicked up and linked up, we met in a certain situation overseas, and um you know we was grinding doing our thing, and uh actually you know I was running yeah we gonna like, we gonna reveal more yeah we gonna reveal more but it, it, it's basically man we we kind of we 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 clicked up and we decided to invest in ourselves basically. And, yeah. uh, and then move the movement further because we know what we can do. Right, right. All right. Now, I'm, I'm not always the sharp, uh, or not, I, I'm not always the brightest color in the crayon box. So, uh, <laughs> but sometimes I can, you know, figure things out. Um, the right. name of the mixtape that's coming, or album, is uh, MI2, which is Military Issue 2. And the first one was already, right. you know, put out there. So what I assume is that you guys were overseas in the military together. Uh, yeah, we, we, we had we had some military background, you know what I mean? Of course we did, because uh, as you can see, the military issue one, mm-hmm. and uh, we did our thing. But uh, like like I said, man, we 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 both collectively, individually, before we met, was doing our own thing, and then when we met each other. We decided that hey, hey, look, you know, ain't nobody gonna be able to do, ain't nobody gonna be able to, to make the moves and, and, and make the right decisions and invest in ourselves and believe in ourselves more than us. Right, so right. We, we 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 left that situation and uh, we came back and you know we just been grinding ever since. You know, you go through your many bumps and bruises in this game, and we ain't gonna go down that road. Of course, you know from being in this game. But you take the good with the bad and you keep on pushing. Definitely. And what yeah. it comes down to, man, we done been through a lot of different situations that prepare you and get you ready for for life, basically. I mean, so we got a lot to say. We got a lot to put out there for the people to listen to. True. They can check out what we got to say, mind frame that yeah. we got, and be able to True. take different pieces from that and build on your own. I mean, we done been through a lot. And right, right. Yeah, man. Military issue, the title, it don't have nothing to do 
with, with military part okay. What it really has to do with is just preparing yourself with, with the different tools and situations to know that you can get through situations. Just like the single say, the single was blessed. So it's just to get you through situations that you may come up in and just, just know no matter what situation you're in, you're still blessed. So no right. doubt. You want to keep on, keep it moving, keep it pushing. And that's it. Cool, yeah. cool. All right, A hey, Dub, you're, you're a producer. Um, right. What was that defining moment for you in music that made you feel like, okay, this is something I have to do that I need to do? When was that moment for you? <laughs> I would say I feel like um, coming up, you know, I, 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 I think I'm big on analyzing situations. You know, I really feel like that. So coming up, of course, you know, just like all, all the rest of the cats I was coming up with, came up rapping, you know, doing different things, but, you know, ain't nobody had no beats. <laughs> so, <laughs> real talk. So what happened is, you know, that, that's something I decided to go ahead and jump on. And, you know, when it, and this is way back in the day. You talking, you talking, uh, coming up as a youngster, you talking about high school, you talking about, you know, in a room by yourself working on track and, and trying to perfect your craft. So, right. I mean, we, we get to the situation of going from there to going to different studio, working in different studios across the country, major studios. Also, the same thing is building my own studio. Mm-hmm. So, when it comes from that, transitioning from, you know, I'm, I'm the type of cat, I, I could walk into the studio and, and get it in no matter where I'm at. So, the production really just came as, as a passion. It just came as something that something that grabbed a hold of me and, and, you know, just never let go. So, you know, if you ask me if I'd rather make a beat or, you know, and, and facilitate, produce, make sure everything come together right, you know, or jump on a record and, you know, I just might go ahead and make that beat because that's what I love to do. Man, I keep it 100, man. The, the boy popped out the wound with beats in his brain. You know what I'm <laughs> That's just the reality, man. And, you know, that's... You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna add a little bit, of, a little bit of spice on this, man. You know, when I when I first met Dub years back, you know, you're gonna hear more in the music. I'm gonna do give you the short version. You know, as as, as you a young buck, you run around here trying to get get signed by every label with your head cut off, mm-hmm. and then you know he, he sat me down and said, Hey, look, man, we can do this ourselves, bro. So we decided to invest all our money and and, and all our time and effort. And I'm not going to do no name dropping or nothing like that. But we, we done did shows from overseas to, to in the state. And with a lot of artists that you probably done spin, we've been in front of. And we either probably worked with them or we did some type of whatever with them. And at the end of the day, we decided, okay, we know what we're going to do. So mm-hmm. instead of sitting here waiting on somebody else to get their things right or whatever, whatever, we decided to say, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put our thing out there and kick these doors down and let the world know that CMG, that's my game entertainment. We here to stay. Definitely. All right. All right, Sleep. So what about you, man? You're, you're the rhyme sayer. When was that defining moment for you when you realized that music, you know, spitting was something that you had to do? When I heard Eric B. and Rakim paid in full. Ooh. When I heard that, let me tell you yeah. something. When I heard that thinking of a master plan, ain't nothing but sweat inside my hand, and I'm sitting in my room chilling, and I heard that, man, that was the, <laughs> the words was bouncing off my wall and banging my brain, and I said, this is what I want to do. I mm. love that joint. So that whole era between Eric B. and Rakim, you got Dougie Fresh, keep rising to the top, uh, Naughty by Nature, NWA, Q. I mean, we can go from Grandmaster Class to work and on, man. When I listen to the pioneers, the people that went, paid the way of this, of this game, it, it does something to me that that it just puts me in a a whole nother spirit. You know what I mean? And to to the point to where I got to get that feeling out. It don't matter if I'm sad, mad, happy, or whatever. I'm a, I'm gonna relay that message so the people can feel it. You know, I'm gonna put yeah. my emotion on every track. I'm not just going to take a beat and say, oh, man, let me just uh, hickory-dickory dock on this joint and put a nice chorus on that thing and put it out there. 
nah, we're going to have some substance behind the music. Man, I don't want to start number. Why can't these double XL freshmen say something like that? <laughs> <laughs> man, at the end of the day, bro, you know, oh, man. everybody got their own path that they yeah. walk in this thing, man. And you know what I'm saying? It, 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 take, a, it take a real artist to know the people that came before them, the people mm-hmm. that paved the way. And I respect the new, I respect the new artists too, because you need that for hip hop, the movement to keep going. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? For everybody to, 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 to still stay relevant, old and new. But then at the end of the day, you can't forget how that groundwork was laid. You can't forget about all the old heads that laid this game before us. So right. if you ain't if you ain't got no respect for that. Now, I really don't want to hear you. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You ain't talking nothing to me. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. So, being some hip-hop heads, um, working in the industry, as you say, behind the scenes, um, you work with a lot of artists, producers, I'm sure. Um, you, you've you seen waves come and go. So, was there oh, like yeah. a... Yeah, so where there's like a, a debate among you two, maybe a wrestling match on uh, the agreement for Bless and to lead off <laughs> with that as a single because you guys seen, you know, you seen how songs can be a hit and miss sometimes. And uh, oh, yeah. so, yeah, yeah, tell us about the whole process, how, how, how Bless came to be the first one to lead off. Man, I'll let you bless this one, Doug. I want to come down to it, man. I came with the beat. Went ahead, I was feeling the beat, put it together. Went ahead, thought of that hook, threw that hook on it, threw a verse on it, sent that thing over to sleep, man, and he murked, he murked that joint, man. So, it was a no-brainer. I mean, man, it was undeniable. You got a lot of tracks. You got a lot lot more to come after this. You got a lot oh, that yeah. came before this. But this is the one oh, we yeah. really wanted to shine that light on, get out there to the people, man. We want to really get... You know, we got different yeah. types of tracks, different things, tracks to entertain, tracks with messages, all of that. But this is one that came. We really wanted to get out to the people, man, so they could feel it, especially going through all of these times that's happening right now, man. Oh, man, See, especially through, like, the time. hurricanes yeah. and stuff like that that's going on, all this weather, all mm-hmm. of this crime out here, man, all of these, you know, falling The administration. <laughs> man. So what we're trying to do is we went ahead and, and shout out with this one first. So we can get this one out to the people, man, and try to hopefully help somebody out there and still entertain at the same time. You know, you can dance to this joint, man. You can get your groove on to this joint. I'll give a damn, man. Play that joint in the strip club because our strip is blessed too. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. So, you know, that's, that's the one we wanted to go ahead and hit them off with first. Definitely. Definitely. So, you, you guys been all over uh, performing, um, visiting. Like, where do you feel like your music that you're making right now would do the best potentially when you're looking at, you know, where you've been, where you come from? Um, everyone tends to start and stay where they at. You know, sometimes that, that that's the case with ind- independent acts. But you're in a, a very unique situation that could potentially see this project move and grow beyond where it's based at. Um, have you guys thought, thought about anything like that? Yeah, let me oh, take yeah. that. Let me take oh, that. Yeah. When it comes ahead, to bro. it, Right now, you hear the music how it is right now, right? Mm -hmm. We got a lot of different type tracks as well. So we taking it from, I mean, we love hip-hop. You know, we we, we rap, we make rap beats, the whole nine, but we also elevate with the music that we have. We also have different types. I mean, we go way back when it comes down to Curtis Mayfield, you know. Oh, God. You know, when it comes down to uh, Isaac Hayes. Mm, Real no, talk, man. When you talk like about that, so you gonna hear, I'm a super fly brother. <laughs> there you go. So you gonna hear right. some some real interesting things come out of the fold when it comes to catch my game. Yeah, you know, man. You know, you gonna hear some real interesting things. I mean, it's not even just from far yeah. Bay, just us. We we got other artists that we working with that got some some fire that we gonna make sure that everybody get blessed with as well. So and you know, the main yeah. thing with us, we 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 fans of music and not just hip hop we love hip hop that's that's our that's our baby but then at the end of the day we fans of music period you know what I mean we can go everybody from 
David Ruffin, and like he said, Curtis Mayfield, you know I mean, named the great groups, the Temptations, OJ Spinner. I mean, the list goes on and on. The music is so universal, it's the universal language. So we speak that language, we speak that tongue. Mm-hmm. All right. So you, your song, Blessed, is full of what seems to be, to me, real thoughts. At least, you know, I'm, I'm okay. human and, I, and I've had them, you know, not sure about everyone else. <laughs> but tell us the story about, you know, the words of bless. I usually don't ask about what songs mean from like an outside perspective, but I feel like this one song may have spoken more truth about you guys as writers than anything else I've heard. Oh, man, I appreciate that, brother, because that's that's the that's what we was trying to do, man. Um, at the end of the day, we're trying to about bring that, that mentality. Man. Just about yeah, that mentality. Man. That mentality, because when Dub sent that track over to me, man, I'm mm-hmm. gonna keep it real. It was, it, I was going through a lot of things. My pop died in 2016. Um, I had a lot of ups and downs trying to take care of my mom's in the situation and everything like that. But then at the end of the day, he sent that thing over, and it was like medicine to me. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Once that chorus was done and I heard that track, I mean, it was really enough said, man. And then I just. The words just started pouring out, and you got what you got right there, man. You know, so it's really self-explanatory. You hear it in the rhymes, and you hear it in the in in, in the song. So I I just really had to take and take take myself out of my my comfort zone and say, hey, look here. You know, no matter what I'm going through right now, I'm still blessed. You know, pop mm-hmm. looking down right now, smiling. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna keep it moving, and I'm gonna keep on pushing with my brother. And my team, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to get it in. Definitely. Definitely. All right. So rap has become like a multidimensional art form requiring and allowing artists to wear so many different hats in terms of production, development, distribution. I mean, you can pretty much run a whole label by yourself and a partner, uh, which you guys are yeah. doing. Um, what would you say that your strongest area are in terms of being a rap artist man my strongest area in terms of being a rap artist telling the fucking truth you know what I'm saying okay. at, at the end of the day man the truth hurts sometimes but then at the end of the day the truth is real and when mm-hmm. you bring out the truth on your music it's undeniable like you know you take for instance somebody like you know I'm not one for name dropping, but I'm going to say this name right now. Shout out to Cardi B. You take somebody like that. The reason why Cardi B is what she is right now in this day, because she's being who she is. You know, she tell you, I took a bag and fixed my teeth. That's real. You feel what I'm saying? And her personality, she is not showing nothing that she hasn't done prior to her, that, that Bodak Yellow coming out. So at the same time, you know, you take cats like us and... Only thing that we thinking about is one make the next hit better than the last one and put nothing but the realness on it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. What about a, a weak area in terms of being a rap artist? I would say right now, you know how everything go when it comes to uh, the changing of the music, the changing of the industry, the changing of everything. You know, the way that it's, it's distributed today versus the way that it was distributed yesterday, you know, a few years back. Right. So, right. You that, and you can you can say that that could be a weakness in the whole game, and the game as a whole, music theory. Mm-hmm. But right. at the same time, you got to look at it, you know, you got to look at it with, with an eye of an entrepreneur and say, okay, well, it's, it's a little bit, it's less overhead. But right. you got to attack it with the mind frame of that and go hard with it, make the music, put it out there. And, you know, music is just, just what it is. We just, we got an EP that's on the that's out there on, on Bandcamp right now. It's called Trees and Real Estate. And Man. that's an example of what we're talking about. Like, you know, that real estate, that music is real estate. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Put thing out there and, and you know. You got some folks who put it out there and know what they're doing. You got some folks who put put it out there and, and don't have a clue. So, mm-hmm. you know, you take that entrepreneurship. We both businessmen, both both business-minded. And you take that and you put it behind what you're doing with the music and you can turn that weakness into a strength. So that's what we, that's how we roll. 
And I'm gonna add to that, not only that Treasy Real Estate on Bandcamp, but on, you know, everywhere, man, iTunes, Spotify, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, all our music is, is accessible to whatever the the user uses already. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's what it is. And like you said, man, when you run an independent label, you gotta wear different hats. You know what I mean? We got not only our rap, you know, I got, you know, some a little bit of production game in myself, but it's not like my boy Dub, but you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 progressing in that. But then, you know, whole general manager Dub, he rap and he got a whole bunch of other uh, bullets under his chamber too. So at the end of the day, man, we, we got to wear so many different hats in this game to get it to where it needs to be. Definitely, definitely. And as, as businessmen, like, what advantage do you have over your competition? Because I, I assume that, you know, not only as you guys are artists, you know, you got to stay hip on the wave, but you right. also have to stay ahead of the curve when it comes to how the industry shifts so frequently. True true yeah when it comes to that man we don't been we, we, we've been doing it for so long that experience right now i mean you can see it coming you know we, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, we done been in the lab we done been grinding we done laid the groundwork the whole night we done did that so just like just like you were saying earlier on your show when you when you put that that uh you know just just overdo it behind mm-hmm. it you know, mm-hmm. and then that's gonna get you results Right. Yeah. That's gonna get you results. When you when you, uh, you you attack it that way and you, you deny yourself a certain thing, you're right, in order to learn your craft and stay on top of your craft and really, really stay on top of your craft and everybody talk about staying on top of their craft, but that's something totally different than actually getting it in. Oh yeah. So oh yeah. You, do is that, you get to a point to where, you know, it, it just comes natural to you. So it's oh, like yeah. the back of the hand, man. It's like looking down the back of the hand. Making a beat, <laughs> putting something down in the studio. Anything that got to do with music, we own it. And it's one thing. That's right. So, and so guys. Business, business-wise, because, you know, we done both ran businesses and had businesses to the point to where we had to adhere to those situations and, and really, really, you know, be professional about it. So you take that into the music, man, and there you go. Right. Basically, right. to sum it all up, experience. I mean, you know, we 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 have experience, but we also have the mindset that, you know, we know what we know, but we always willing to learn more, and mm-hmm. at the same time, take good constructive criticism when where where it comes from. Because once you think you know it all in this game, you're really a stupid motherfucker. Right. Definitely. So let me ask you guys this: How has your songwriting and production progressed and evolved over the co- course of your career, uh, from back when you guys were doing other stuff with other people up until now? Well, just like I said, man, it's just like back in the hand now, you know. So you start off coming off that line. Just even before working with a whole lot of different art, you start off at one point and you gotta learn what you're doing. It's like driving a car, just like riding a bike, right? You ain't mm-hmm. gonna be right there at the top of everything as soon as you start off, but if you spend enough time with it, it'll come. And I'm a true believer oh. in that. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, I I agree with that. I ain't got nothing to say about that. Yeah, so it's at a whole other level now. I mean you could even look even back from dropping the difference between, you know, the military issue one versus what's coming up military issue two. Oh my and God! The progression in the situation is ridiculous. Yeah, um, man. Will people you know, notice I mean, something different? Go, I can't wait till they hear that. Yeah, man. You go through different things, man, in between it, man, and just putting your heart out on that track, man, and just making sure that you 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 get better than than last time, man, and making making sure every everything that comes out that studio is timeless because good music don't have an expiration date. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Gotcha. So let me ask you this, guys. When it comes to like themes, um, and, and like you, I, I've been behind the scenes in the music industry for a few years, well, a, a number of years, and I know this one I can rapper. Tell by the question. 
I know there's one rapper who's been at it for 25, 30 plus years, and his whole thing has been murder. I mean, I I I, I suspect like oh, at least 200 man. people has died on each album. That's hey, all he ain't talking. in jail. Nah, he ain't I mean, in jail yet. <laughs> hey, I, I look uh, at it like this, man. Hey, at the end of the day, it's entertaining. Yeah, man. You, I mean, but you can't murder that many people. Yeah. <laughs> More power to him. That's all I got to yeah. say. If that's his way, that's great. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, that's good. But, you know, hey, man, that we just going to leave that at that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I can't really speak on nobody else's situation. You know, when it comes down to it, you know, catch my game, boss, and we going to do it how we do it. We got our slice of the pie, man, and we just, you know, put it out how we put it out, and that's it. Oh, yeah. All right. So, you know, we are in the business of promotion, and anticipation is something that I like to build. So, what was, let's talk about this album, uh, M1-2, which is Military Issue 2. Um, what was the key in making this album, besides growth? Because, you know, time and space between projects, there's always growth, there's always life happening, and those are going to eventually spill out into our music. But what was the, the number one key into making this album? Why did it need to be I'm gonna made? I'm going to tell you. The number one key to making this album is to make sure we can leave the ones that come after us with something from our mentality of being able to see this music thing in a different light. That's the Pretty number much. thing. When it comes down to putting it out there for, for public, you know, because we can make music all day, man. We write to our own stuff all day. Mm-hmm. And it, it, you know, but the, the key to putting it out there for this public man is really come down to the kids, everything, something that they could take a look at, take a listen to, and get a different mind frame from. Then you know, a lot of that stuff that's out there, because you know, just like you said, a lot of stuff out there, man, it can get you killed if you listen to the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's oh, real. Yeah. Poison, man. My poison. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> you ain't never lied about that. We that's a whole other topic, man. We gotta crack open the bottle for that one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Cause man, we can get down in that minerals breaking down. Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. All right. So back on track here. All right. So <laughs> let let's get technical about the transitions of the album. And this is probably mostly your work, a dub. Uh, Sleep. You you mentioned that you 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 can also produce a little bit. Um, yeah. So when you're building track to track to track, do you guys discuss beforehand, like the layout of how this album should sound? Do you look for uh, different type of productions from a dub or for uh, a guest producer, or how does all that work in the decision of how to build an album? It could be a be a vision based sometimes, um, and then sometimes it's, it's as you are embarking on that journey, you might mm-hmm. turn corners, you know, you might take some, uh, some left turns, some right turns, and then once you finish, you know, hopefully you got something that you can really be proud of. And that's yeah. something you're doing. You know, that's something yeah. that, that we done did. I mean, we, we just got something that we proud of, something that we put together. You know, it's just like a natural state when it comes to the way that we handle our business, man. We go back and forth. And you know, oh, yeah. we feel like we got that thing. So, you know, right now we got it. And uh, yeah, so you know, the technical aspect of everything really just falls into place with the flow of what's happening in the studio. Yeah. The flow of what's happening in, in the world, you know, and just putting all that together, mixing it up, turning it up, and you coming out with. Something like we got, man. You coming out with that military issue too, and I mean, it's, it's a difference in recording as well. You know, military issue one was basically on that road, all over the place. And um, real talk, military issue two, you know, basically recorded the main parts of that, and uh, you know, a couple main tunes. I ain't gonna re- reveal the spots right now, but like I said, that's gonna be coming up. But oh yeah, you know, it's just basically just holding it down with with. Whatever project, whatever whatever you're gearing towards and, and not straying off track, just like you were saying earlier. You, you're sticking with it, you overdo it. And real talk, man, majority of the time, man, we, 
Movie my man, he does and we stay in the studio all the time. And and songs just pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Next thing you know, you sitting there looking at twenty, thirty songs <laughs> and it's like, man, we can put this together and do this and do that. You know what I mean? So sometimes it works out like that. But then sometimes, you know, it works out the way we might have a, a vision and a concept to where it is, the how we gonna put out things. But then at the end of the day, like I said, scenario one is usually how it goes because, you know, the songs that we lay is we have a mind frame to tell nothing but the truth. So usually the the album is pretty much done. When we're done with the songs, it's just doing the little little parts to put it together and dress it up. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Definitely. All right, guys, so... When it comes to the aspect of time and how much of it you have and can disperse among all the many hats that you guys wear and the jobs and the industry that you take on uh, uh, as label as X, uh, when something like less continues to gain attention and it may begin to take up a lot of your time because you got to ride that wave that comes along with it, you know, from interviewing from the photo shoots to the shows to the kissing of the babies and the shaking of the hands you know <laughs> you gotta go it's, it's almost like a presidential campaign so in, right, in right. general with you being involved in, in so many pieces of that entire pie it almost seems like when one of those uh, things take off that maybe other things or artists would give left behind now I've been in a situation uh, I was an artist before and I was signed to a, a Grammy Award winning artist and uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know over time and space those things I won't say become irrelevant but when there's new ways and new things of the industry happening you either have to conform or create another lane so he's fighting to be relevant other things get left behind in, in that chase you know so how how is that how, how does it happen for you guys when it comes to balance like what I want to know is what truly defines the guidelines between where your focus goes. I would say, man, when it comes down, you want to, um, you want to, you always gotta be able to multitask. It's 2017 out here, man. You mm-hmm. know, so you gotta be able to multitask. And you yeah. gotta have to put that time in. You gotta put that grind in because you know money comes in many different forms, many different ways. So you gotta get it how you gotta get it, and that's the best. Thing I can say out there, even when it comes to the new world, this and that, get it how you got to get it. Just because you do music, that don't mean that you can't go to college. That don't mean right. that you can't, you know, get, have a have a have a good job. That that don't mean hey. that you can't have your own business. That don't mean that you can't, you know, music shouldn't stop anything. I mean, if anything, mm-hmm. any of that, all of that stuff is gonna help you with your music. So what you need to do. They just learn how to multitask, man. 2017, it's a whole other world out here. So just right. like you said, the music industry, things change in the music industry. Things things uh, formulate. I mean, you even got cats like Jay Z running running Def Jam, right? Back mm-hmm. in the days of the president. Of course, go off to do his own thing with Rock Nation. But you can even look at a situation like that and be like, hey, you know, you don't have to do this just one way. You know, it comes right. this way, but what it comes down to it is about what you're putting out there about that music. Man, you know, we all know that went on it. We know how this game went, man. Back in the day, man, we grew up with the artists. When we when we heard Scarface or we heard Q or the rest of them cats, Pac, Biggie, we grew up with them artists. You feel what I'm saying? And 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 we we saw their progression. Each album, each single, each video, each movie. But then when you're dealing with today, like you said, times is two. So you got, I mean, once you're dealing with the track and two, Pro Tools, you can drop that thing in SoundCloud. We already know that. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So you got so many people out here that that is just dropping music left and right. So besides the artists that already like Jay-Z and we can name other names and a whole bunch of other people that have their core audience to where when they drop, they can make those numbers. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, when you got 60 million people running a race, I mean, hell, my postman want to rap. You know what I mean? The, the lady at the grocery store bagging my groceries, she want to flow or sing. So at the end of the day, when you got 60 million people running the same race, 
who's going to be the one that's actually the leader to actually bring up the other people? Well, it got to be ahead. You feel what I'm saying? So a lot of people these days, you know, and we've been through those situations where we have fools and different situations that we, we could put other people on and blah, 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 blah. But you got to separate people's hidden agendas because a lot of people like to use your situation to better their situation. Instead of just trying to support and be real and just say, hey, look, you know, I can fall back, let them do their thing, and I'm in with some real brothers, it's going to be my time to shine soon. Definitely. You know, one thing I wanted to say, too, because, you know, I know you had said you were working with the Grammy Award winning artists, and, you know, they, they running around trying to stay relevant, but at the same time, we, we got a different mentality on, on relevance. We got a different mentality on, I mean, you got artists out here that you never heard of that got all yeah. kind of all kind of fan sales to you everywhere you got mm-hmm. some artists out here man it's, just, it's about that entrepreneurship behind what you're doing you yeah. know I mean I got I got a shout out one, one, one artist that come to my mind that I really I don't never hear on the radio I don't never you know see a whole lot of different things on it but I know that this artist, the artist I'm talking about is by the name of Tech Nine. Oh yeah. So a lot of cats gotta understand, you know, that there's different ways to get it out here. It's not just one conforming way to get it out here. You got all kind of different ways, so you just gotta, you know, go with your niche and uh and stick with it. I mean, cause yeah. When other artists out here change and and you know try to go with this and try to sound like this, sound like that, they ain't really into that. Mm-hmm. You know, so we, we, we got our own thing that we putting out there and you either fuck with it or you don't. Definitely. That's how I feel about it. Man, we gotta get you guys to come speak at a at a summit or co op about how you know, <laughs> music is just not the only thing you can do. You can also have a trade or a career and still tour. Man, that's real. No, I say you that's better real. have something. You got to <laughs> I mean, you got even you, if man. you're an artist. I'm gonna say it like this, even if you are an artist that's on right now. Right, an artist that 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 signed to a major, an artist that's out there and they're doing big things, whatever, you know. Just like you said, times change, so mm-hmm. big things, you know. Sometimes Man, let's keep it going. Huh? There's another big thing that's there that come up right behind that. So you gotta have some fitness sense. You gotta be able to multitask and have different experience with different things that are, that'll help you stay afloat during them times. Man, I'm going to add to it. One of my favorite 50 Cent got, you know, one of the best TV shows I've ever seen. Yeah. On, on, on right now with power. Loving mm-hmm. it. And yeah. you check us out on thisiscity.com, too. We got an article on there, too. But yeah, one of the best TV shows is on right now in power. So that don't have really nothing to do with, you know, his, his rap career and everything and, and, and what he has to do on that side. That's a whole nother business that he does a whole nother side of man, I'm, people. I'm going to add to that real quick, Doug. It, it, it's simple like this. you got to attach your music with other things these days because it's not the days of where people are making two hundred the four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars a month off this music game. You got mm-hmm. to be able to just you got to be able to have other hustles to be able to make your dream come alive. And then once your dream pop and you become a household name, you will be able to say, Okay, I can diversify my money in different ways. And maybe put some over here, you put some over there and just in case I don't ever have a hit record again. You know what I'm saying? Because, hell, Young MC right now, he's going all over the world still off a of the move. So let's just keep it real. You know what I mean? So if you don't have no more hustle in this game, then you're selling yourself short. It's just like playing basketball. It's just like being on the football field. If, if, once you get hurt, if you don't have another hustle, what the hell are you going to do? You know what I mean? Exactly. So... That that's that's where we come in and, and we, we, we try to I mean we've we've been in this game long enough to where we've helped other people but then we understand at times we know when we need to ask for help because we ain't scared to ask. You know what right. I mean? Because we don't know we know what we know, but we know what we don't know. <laughs> and that's the key. You got to yeah. be able to humble yourself and be real with yourself. 
definitely. So, what channels do you guys use to distribute and promote your music, and why do you think these outlets work best for you? Well, it's like we said, man, it's a new day and new time. So, we done already been on that back in the day, hustle, out the trunk, 09, and, and now we, we transition that to, you know, this, this, this online game. We transition that to, you know, social media. You, Get at us on Instagram, CMG Bosses, Facebook, yeah. Catch My Game, Twitter, Catch My Game, me and T, YouTube, Catch My Game TV. You can stream us on Tidal, Spotify, Apple Music, listen to us on Pandora. I mean, come on. It's 2013 out here. It's too, it's too many channels out there for a music maker to be stagnant. Right. You know, so that's, that's real many different channels out there that you can check out what we got and uh we still out the trunk with it too if you want that yes, oh sir. man i'll pop a trunk on you real quick and give you a whole bunch of new stuff <laughs> what do you want to do right. <laughs> so slate who's your favorite artist man whoa man i'm gonna keep it real pop man pop my favorite artist but like I said, man, yeah, R.I.P. Pac, know. man. Yesterday was the, yesterday was the anniversary of his death, so I say R.I.P. to Pac, man. Rest in peace. Pac's sure. my favorite artist, and but you know I, I, I keep it 100, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a music connoisseur. I love a lot of people, man. Everybody from Curtis Mayfield on, you know what I mean? So I take a little bits and pieces of the greats, and I apply that to what I got going on. Mm-hmm. All right. What about you, A-Dub? I say my, my viewpoint on it, from an artist standpoint, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you about the production, but I'd probably say mine got to probably got to be Ice Cube. A little bit of oh, Ice Cube, yeah. a little bit of Master P. You know, yeah. so, but then when it comes down to production, that's what I really, really focus in on, man. And I got to give it up to cats like Dr. Dre. I got to give it up to cats like Kanye West. I mean, Jay-Z, you know. When it comes to production oh. out here, man, it's just yeah, of course, you know, of course. But I, mm-hmm. I'm really influenced by music makers, period, man. If you if you a hustler, you you a hard worker, you speak that truth just like we saying, man. And I'm behind you. You know, I ain't really with all of that. You know, somebody got to chase everything that's going on out here, and it's not. <laughs> I don't give a damn if you got Grammys or not. Because you got Grammys, oh, man. they don't mean you gonna get a Grammy tomorrow. And when right. Come down to it. You know. You just got to uh, respect those who got that hustle in them and got that grind in them. And I respect everybody out here who really put their time in to, to make it something great. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So that, that raises an interesting question. I don't know if you guys seen this, but Ice Cube just did an uh, interview where they talked about uh, Hit em Up versus No Vaseline, which one was a better diss track. And, of course, Ice Cube said No Vaseline was a better diss track because it was personal. Since Sleep said his favorite ar- artist was Pac and uh, A Dub, you like Ice Cube. What is your guy? What is your opinion of it? Uh, no Vaseline. Yeah, they said. Uh, what, what they they asked him about? was, uh, "Hit him up or No Vaseline was the better diss track?" Man, you know, first you got it. Man, I, me personally, I think they both. Man, this is a, this is the most political answer you can hear from me, man, ever. I think they both target who they need to target, and they both are hot tracks. You know what I mean? You can't. I mean, <laughs> to me, I, I can say, I can lean towards hit them up, but then at the same time, that no Vaseline is ridiculous. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, you, can, you can't, it's sort of like, man, it's sort of like that question that we asked when we was growing up. If Muhammad Ali was in the prime of Mike Tyson and they were both in the same era, who was going to win? Yeah. I'm going to tell that's, you like that's, this, that's, that's what that question is. Man. You know, we, we both, you know, we individuals, so we, we got, you know, sometimes we, we got difference in opinion. You know, so me personally, I'm going to say, I would say no Vaseline. And the reason why I say that, 
is because when when he did when when Ice Cube did no Vaseline, not only was it lethal, man, that thing was sick. For one, it was lethal against the the best group out at that time. And yeah. he was by himself. It made you look at. It made you look at. So I want to say it made you look at that thing a little bit different mm-hmm. at that at that moment. And you know, me coming up as a youngster and, and looking at all this stuff going on, well, it, it was just crazy, you know. And I think that No Vaseline, you know, he came at a whole group, you know. Pac, he was really basically he came at you know other folks or whatnot on the side of on the side of Biggie when he was coming at coming with hit him up, but. When when um, Ice Cube came out, man, it was one cat versus the whole group. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was, that was something else right there, I got to say. But I do think that Hit Em Up had to be one of the most lethal, if not the lethalist, when it comes to just the era and the time that it was in and when that thing dropped. Yeah. Uh, man, it, you just wasn't expecting nobody to go in on somebody that like that. I mean, yeah. Pop took his place to the street with it, you know? And, and, and did something totally different Then um, Ice Cube It was a little bit of I would say it was, he came with King Street with it But it was a little comedy in the situation as well Man Pac- well, Hey don't forget Hey don't forget Don't forget that hit him up Hey dude Don't forget that hit him up Hey first off You know he, he, he went hey, after the whole... Hey, like I said, I, I, don't want you to, I don't want it to get twisted. I, that's what I'm saying. I don't want it to get twisted and make it look like Hit Em Up was soft. Because Hit Em Up yeah. definitely wasn't soft. Yeah. Like, Hit Em Up was one of... I would say, as far as being something that... Just total outright... Man. Well, nah, because, I mean, you got... Man, first, things, first off, great, fuck man. your big... Yeah. First off, fuck your big thing. You click your claim, wet Oh, I know. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, yeah. man. <laughs> that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he, he, he used to say with straight disrespect, man. And yeah. His disrespect was, was laced with a lot of a lot of truth, you know. When it comes yeah. down to, to, to Ice Cube, you know, he was basically just dissing. You know, mm-hmm. when it came down to, to hit him up, man. Woo. That's why you know, it goes no, back no to that thing, man. Right there. I mean, he ain't even getting no reply. Yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> That's true. That's true. They didn't get no reply. You know, so, you know, it's just what it is. That's how I feel about it. Yes, sir. All right. You guys have any uh, upcoming touring or live shows planned to support the release of your singles? Man, yeah, we what, what? Is upcoming. Yeah, it's coming. We're going to be letting it out. Well, We're going to be letting it out the band promoting. So we got some things upcoming, and we're going to let the public know what's happening as and it comes up. Check out that YouTube. That's my game TV. You got past shows on there. I'll say it again. Hours of entertainment. YouTube, catch my game TV. You got hours of past shows, uh, uh, videos, behind the scenes videos of affiliates. Shots out to Casino Red down there in Pensacola, Florida. And my man Short down there in Houston. He had a lake in front of his house just a couple weeks ago. So, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you're going to see a lot of stuff on there so you can get familiar with Catch My Game Entertainment. And then we're going to be continuously dropping. Check out our social media and and, and and stay on that YouTube Catch My Game TV. And we're going to continuously be dropping some things. We don't want to let the cat out of the bag right now. But I guarantee if, if you're real, you're going to love it. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All right, guys, after the music break, it'll be time for our usual tradition. It is called the hot seat, and our fans love this part of the segment. And, of course, along with the actual interview, but the audience get to hear either some good old singing, maybe the duo here, CMG bosses can sing, or, you know, maybe recite a poem or inspirational speech or spoken word. Maybe they can freestyle rap for us and tell us a joke or two or share a story or maybe whip out a live instrument. The choice is theirs to make. But you never know what these creative minds and vessels will produce in the spotlight. And we'll find out if A-Dub and Sleep of the Catch My Game bosses have what it takes to be put on the spot. A test of their true artistry. But for right now, we have their song, Blessed. We'll be right back. I, 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 I go by the name of A-Dub. Catch my game in the building, boy. I'm blessed. Even though got problems on my neck. Yeah. I said I'm blessed. Even though. 
know got problems on my neck. Uh, uh, yeah. See you later. We bought that paper. Buy that paper. Some human calculators. Uh, Don't let me stop you, take her. Take I'll her. never force a nature. Yeah. Loyalty hard to teach. Hard. I ain't got time to preach. Yeah. We reach at every station. Spread out across the nation. Catch my game, not them lames. Never get mistaken. Never. Trucking beats, wrecking tracks, dig a down. Second hand to a nigga with that crown. Low down 30, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Don't let chump get you checked in your mouth. Watch him out. Low down dirty nigga, fuck you talking about. <laughs> Don't let chump get you checked in your mouth. <laughs> I'm blessed. Even though got problems on my neck. I said I'm blessed. Even though got problems on my neck. I said I'm blessed. <laughs> Know I'm living, yeah. motherfucker. Wanna know I'm getting it? Yeah. Motherfucker, wanna know I'm spinning? Uh, 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 uh. Man, I ain't telling y'all shit. I'ma keep on loading these clips while I keep on getting these chips. Uh, 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 uh. I'ma keep on making paper, nigga. Fuck the fucking hating, nigga. Cause ain't nothing gon' save you, nigga. Uh, man, I ain't saying nothing. Y'all niggas keep on fronting while my messages keep on bumping. Uh, 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 uh. I'ma get it till I die, promise always stay fly, even when them haters ride by, I'ma stay fresh, always beat my chest, nevertheless, with that crown on my flesh, middle finger to the rest, I'm blessed, uh, even though got problems on my neck, I said I'm blessed, even though got problems on my neck. Are you living with pain? I was, after a nasty fall. I got relief with one-hour pain relief. I'm Barry Yarconi, president, and here's Lisa, a Marine who was injured in Iraq. After surviving an explosion, I was on horrible painkillers for lingering head, shoulder, back, and knee pain. But I hated the dangers and side effects. My friend told me about one-hour pain relief, and now I'm off the drugs. One-hour pain relief is the result of 15 years of research on an amazing extract from hops, the plant used to flavor beer. Whether your pain is from an injury or just aging, you get safe all-day relief in less than one hour. We're so sure you'll love one-hour pain relief, too, that we'll send you a one-week trial for just a small shipping charge. Call 800-269-9500 right now. That's 800-269-9500. There's no gimmicks, no obligation, no automatic shipments. Stop living with pain. Call 800-269-9500 for your one-week trial or visit onehourpainrelief.com. That's 800-269-9500. All right, now that was, again, CMG Bosses with their song, Bless Us Right, Catch My Game, Bosses. Look, guys, I'm going to have to make that my, like, wake-up anthem. Because life happens, right? And we need something like that to say, yeah, even though life happens, we need to do what we have to do to make the day go by. To make these little problems be little problems, you know? So yeah, big up to the CMG bosses. Man, that is a dope track, dope production, dope lyrics. The structure, the layout, the flow is immaculate. Wow. So... Also, I want to tell you guys, you have to take stock of your progress. Success is a very personal thing. The only way you can measure your success is to look at your progress that you made toward your own goals. Your success is not defined by someone else's goals or by what other people think. It is measured by your own progress towards your own goals and what you think. 
when you look in the mirror and ask yourself about, have I reached my goal? Huh? Have I fulfilled my purpose, my dreams in life? That the question to ask yourself about the measurement of success, how it makes you feel. How do you know if you are successful? How do you know if what you are doing is working? You have to take stock on a regular basis. If you're in retail, you know what taking stock means. That means inventory of what you have, what you've made, what you lost. Loss prevention, yeah. I've done retail 12 years. So, know all about that. So, how often should you evaluate your progress? As a store manager, we did inventory twice a year, every six months. We had to take value of what we gained, what we lost. That's how you evaluate what you're worth, what your business is worth, evaluating your progress. At the end of each day, you're going through the day and not making any progress, then you'll need to change your approach. You also need to evaluate your progress on a weekly and monthly basis basis when I first began this show guys four years ago the first I say the first seven eight months I had one listener one shout out to Angela I love you and no she's not my woman or anything she's just someone who tuned into the show faithfully and now we're over 34,000 live listeners what did you do Denny well, what I was doing for those seven months wasn't working. I had to change my approach. And then a year went by. I didn't make a cent from this show. Nothing. I was losing money because you have to pay to host, pay to server, pay for this, pay for that. Yeah, and that was that's monthly fees adding up. And I, I got to asking myself, what am I doing? I love what I'm doing. I love it because I'm an introvert. I don't like talking, but this is something to help me get over that, you know? So how could I make all of this time that I'm putting in work for me? And I thought about it. Integrity. Business-minded. We gotta, we gotta get a plan. We just can't jump off the, jump off the, the ledge and not know the, knowing what's down there when we get there. Nobody likes hitting rock bottom. I've hit it a few times. It hurts. <laughs> but now I can jump and know I have safety nets, you know? So I changed up our approach. Four years later, we're making money. When I say we, it's actually me. There is no other team. It's just me. And integrity was the number one thing that I had to keep it. You know, we keep it real. We treat our guests like they just won a Grammy. We ask the questions just like they won a Grammy, whether they're a celebrity or somebody from the block. It doesn't matter. When you come on the show, you get integrity. And then I'm going to tell you something for the listeners. I'm going to give you some, some jewels, you know, some things to think about. That was the formula. And hey, we're here. Like I said, 34,000. We're here. So success is a numbers game. And to see, you need to know your numbers. How much money are you making? How many people are you influencing? What's your weight, your cholesterol count? How many laps did you run? How much time do you have to spend with your family? How is your investment portfolio? Ooh, oh yeah. You need to keep up with the numbers that define your goals. It's the only way you'll know if you're on the right track. If you're not happy with the numbers, what then? I wasn't happy. I had to change something. What if your results aren't up to your expectations? If you're truly committed to your goals, then, the, then you realize that you're not making progress towards them, and that will further strengthen your resolve. You'll be disgusted and determined, and that alone will inspire you to do something, do whatever it takes. If you're not lazy, of course, but if you're lazy, it won't have any effect on you. You're just going to think about it, and that's it. It's in the back of your mind, and you're watching Empire and Power again. That's cool, though, because I watch those things, too, after I work after the work is done. You can make your av adversity work for you. You can make the anger towards being on the bottom work for you. That's how the underdog wins. 
He gets tired of being underdog, tired of being on the bottom, and he fights his way to the top. Make your disgust lead to inspiration, not depression, and you'll have a powerful force on your side. When I was working in retail, I was a store manager, but I was making, let's say, let's just say uh, the wages would make you mad after all the the 90 plus hours you put in, you know, the less time with the family, the missing all the holidays and the cutting of the turkey, even though we're vegan, we don't eat turkey, but still we want to smell it. Let me smell the turkey. Yeah. And then, you know, that anger led me to quit my job and say, hey, I don't want to work for the man. I want to be the man. I want to call the shots. I want to go home on Christmas at a decent time. I want to be with my kids. I want to get up when I feel like get up. And, of course, you want to make some money. You have to get up when it's necessary, right? You can't sleep your day away. But still, that anger led me to make a change, make a change in my direction, made me think different. Because I didn't want to be confined to a cage. I felt like I was in a cage working nine to five. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But for some, you already know it. You're listening now. You're thinking, yeah, I feel the same way. Man, that's, that's you telling you you need a change. You need to do something about it. You know, people in jail, they can't do anything about the cage they're in. So, you know, if they hopefully get out, I need to make a change where I don't end up here again. I've been there too. I would never go there again. So, we have to make changes when we feel it is necessary, when it's beating us in the back of our skulls, saying, hey, you're messing up. Hey, your numbers ain't right. Hey, you're losing money. Hey, you're not happy. It's time to make a change. Remember that the world doesn't care what happens to you. So you have to care what happens to you. You have to know where you are, who you are, and where you want to go. Only then can you take responsibility for your own fate. And with that, guys, let's go ahead and bring... The duo of the hour back, CMG bosses, you're now live in our hot seat. What do you have for us? Man, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm take this one, Doug. Right, Put it deep. like this, yeah, man. It's, thing, bro. it's big sleep. You do good, you get good. You do dirt, you get hurt. You fucking with my folks. I'm going to show you how this trigger work. I kill a twerk for playing with my cheese, bitch. Get down on your knees, bitch. You're dealing with a bag. With a bad, lay a hater rest, play the game like chess for the pump back, pump stack, been there, done that. Now people gonna run that. You ain't heard about sleep, but tap you on come back. What's that? You jack, new cat, new stack, new that, 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 that. Sit back, relax, don't jump back, or get your whole head cracked, nigga. That's what it is. CMC call. That's my game, baby. All day. Short and sweet to the point. Man. Forced to be reckoned with. That's right to the point, man. Hurricane Slit. <laughs> oh, oh man. man. Oh man. I figured you out your seat now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You know, I don't know how much time we got, so of course he the rapper on the producer. So we can leave it like that. Or how you have you wanna do it, man. You let me know. Uh, if you That's wanna go to brother, man. it's on you. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Early in the morning, bless the Lord, the sun shining. Oh, I peep my family and friends, we still up grinding. Don't mm. get it by any means, try to keep it holy. Hope today like yesterday ain't got to touch the 40. I'm on my ice cube, bitch, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Fuck around, disrespect yourself. Huh. Bitch, I stay prepared, so you already dead. You off the earth to me. That's what you worth to me. Internal <laughs> surgery. Just call me Dr. Hustle. Cut out your sickness for the bread stack and rustle. I'm mm. getting that still like I'm close to a meal. Got a whole lot of spitters. I ain't even got a rap, but I love this shit. And I do it every day. I pack it up, move it, slip it every kind of way. I make my money doing many different things. Don't ask how I get it unless you put it in my hand. Flow like water, make beats like wild. I'll let me for the sauce. Nigga got it by the gas. Chop the uh. forget how you live. Like I'm bumping cash money, throwing trays in the bill. Show gone ball, we chasing the mill. Going crazy with the work, such amazing to feel. I'm that nigga who that nigga try to call when he want to flip, flip right, not a single flaw. 
fuck with me if you on the A1 gone. I'm gonna drop a few songs before I leave this shit alone. A dub. Oh, <laughs> nice, 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 nice. There you we go. We go all night, man. We go all night, man. But I, I can man, believe go, it. <laughs> go on that media, man. Check out that password, man. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. You're gonna be entertained. If you're real, you're gonna be entertained. All my real niggas know. And all my real shotties know, you know what I'm saying? The fam, though, we don't call them, like, like my man does say, we don't call them fans, we call them fans. So the fam, you know what I'm saying, they've been rocking with us for a long time, so we want to add more fans, such as yourself and your listeners, and we hope the people just love you. All day. Definitely, and I will connect with you guys. And guys, listeners, just in case you didn't connect, you didn't catch any links or anything like that. Maybe you were busy texting or on Facebook, but listening. I typed all of the links for you, so all you have to do is click it. I did all the work for you. My fingers did. Thank you later. Uh, Thank you now. (laughs) (laughs) But listeners, go ahead, connect with these brothers, and be entertained. As they said, I will do it. I promise you. All right. Uh, any any final thoughts before we we bounce up out of here? Man, shouts out to everybody that been holding it down with us for a long time, yeah. and um, you know, to the fam, and uh, you know, shout out to my man Fred Payne, um, Casino Red down in Pensacola, Florida, Southern Falls, that again, my man Show, um. You know, you oh, know, you 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 you know, you you know, 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 that you can all rock to. Yeah, okay, and I want to send a special shout out to those who, in this time, are going through some things from them hurricanes, man. And, and oh yeah, everything else happening as well, man. You blessed, stay blessed, and, and know there ain't nothing really gonna keep you down. The only one that can keep you down is yourself. Oh, oh, man. Stay blessed, get it in. Shout out to my my folks in Florida, man. My fam in Florida. Shout out to Harmony. Shout out to Black. Everybody, That's stay blessed, blessed man. That's hey. what it is. Catch my game. Hey guys, I have a question for you. Uh, for you from Google Hangouts. It's from J Money twenty four forty five. He wants to know: Are you guys looking okay. for new artists? Man, we always we're always look looking to work with with those who talented and hard working. So yeah, anytime, man. Anytime you get the herb, man, go ahead and send something to catch my game at gmail dot com. And um. You know, we'll shoot you a line back or hit us, hit us up on Instagram, CMG Bosses, you know, whatever. Holla at Oh, yeah. You definitely right. looking for new people, man, because, I mean, this is a movement, man. We want nothing but a whole bunch of real people around us when it's all said and done. You know what yeah. I mean? So if you're a real artist and you out there and you about your work and you come with that good work ethic, hey, we're going to give you what you want. All right. All day. Oh, I'm gonna have to submit my application. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, come hey. on, spirit, man. Hey, I got another question for Ashley Ann from Google Hangout. She want to know: You guys sound like you work with a bunch of artists. Uh, can you guys tell us what's your favorite Hollywood story? Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah, you you talk about some. Yeah. <laughs> one one thing about us, man. We you know. We, we keep stuff behind them scenes, man. We ain't ones who just gonna tell everything like that and put it out there. But you keep following us, you keep watching, you stick to us, stick with us, and you know all of that's gonna come out, man. I mean, yeah. I, 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 I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give him one, dog. I'm gonna give him one. Okay, that was overseas. You know what I mean? Uh, uh. Out there, out there, out there. Uh, I was telling him, doing my thing. And, uh, you know, brother man from the fifth floor, Reginald Baylor, he walked up in the club at the time I was hosting, working for uh, two radio stations at the time, running around like a young buck trying to get, get signed to every major label <laughs> that I can think of. And, uh, you know, brother man came up in that joint. That was the dude uh, from the fifth floor, Martin. And uh, Angela Mee, she was up there, too. That was Shorty from Friday. 
Cruz who uh, came up there and asked Ice Cube, uh, you know, she was Felicia basically on Friday. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and we in the club, we we getting it in, and um, you know, we we just doing our thing, and, and, and Reginald Baylor. You know, he looked at me. I just finished getting off the stage doing my thing, and he looked at me. And, you know, they called me sleep because my eyes lay low. And so he walked over, and I walked by him, and he said, Hey, man, you look like you you, 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 you done had a little bit too much, man. Like you hiding the motherfucker. Yeah, you know how he talk. Yeah. And so the nigga like me, I'm sitting back. Like, dog, everybody telling him, man, that's sleep, man. His eyes like that, you know what I'm saying? Blase, blase. He got them bedroom eyes, and, 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 and then he like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not in the bedroom with that nigga, but if that nigga roll another one, Lord, I'm trying to get the same way that motherfucker is. <laughs> so, I mean, and, you know, little, little shit like that, you know, I got little memories like that and, and different people that we came across with. I mean, hell, I mean, everybody from, you know, to now saying transforms, and you'll see that shit on Facebook if you want to look at different things. You know, we, we done had a lot of good conversations and a lot of good relationships with certain people. You know what I'm saying? So so just, just check it out. Check out Catch My Game TV. Check out the Facebook. Check out everything that we got going on, man. And I guarantee you're going to be like, okay. Okay, I should have been rocking with these niggas a long time ago. All right. <laughs> now, you done came up. I got I to gotta put this in there real quick for you, though. I, I, I know, you know, you asked a question, uh, you know, who's your favorite artist, who's your favorite artist. Well, I'm going to tell you like this. One of my favorite artists that I work with, it's going to mix in with, with the stories you're talking about. One of the favorite artists I work with, after working with so many that try to get in the booth, so many that try to get in there without writing nothing, Oh, God, I know you about to say something. Try to get in there, spit something. And, you know, it just don't come about how they think it's going to come about, how I think it's going to come about, so we got to get them up out of there. You right. know, but and one artist that I worked with that impressed me heavily, heavily back in the day was, was Danny Siegel. I knew you were okay, okay. My brother was one of my favorite cats to work with up in the studio, man, because... That's the first time I've seen somebody literally sit there and put the whole 16 bars in their head. Yeah. And then get on the mic and spit it like he just had the paper and, was, and wrote it. Wow. One. Yeah, I man. I mean, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know that, man. That's one of the most talented cats that, that I don't work with, man. And, and so definitely shout out to being single and one, and one of my favorites, too. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right, see you on G Bosses, everybody. That's so right, man. That's right, man. I mean, basically, man, y- y'all just, man, just, just tune in, stay with us, keep rocking with us, and I guarantee you, man, you know what I'm saying, you're going to realize at the end of the day, these are fucking real-ass niggas that's out here telling the truth, and we ain't out here trying to sell bullshit, so y'all won't have to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? We out here trying to motivate you and help the next person. And we all about that each one, teach one. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, CMG bosses, everybody. Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iTunes, YouTube, the app called Podcast Addict, or our website, which is only one media group.com. And that goes for every single show that we've ever aired. If you'd like to request music or send something for us to play, email it to the radio at only one media group.com here my disclaimer we are drummer free we do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone and actually you can scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right that's the bottom line this is my show something you got to deal with nah just kidding on behalf of myself Danny Mussolini I appreciate you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us spread the word because sharing is caring and also special thanks to our guests for joining us we stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure you have the best experience here on our show be sure to connect with us on Facebook Twitter Instagram 
uh, YouTube, Tumblr. We are all over. Just connect with us and we do follow back. Okay, well, just remember to be yourself and be absolutely freaking great at just doing that. Peace. And now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a seventh sign regime, Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate exclusive.